Hello and welcome to Trojans Live. Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, and a true Trojan legend joins us now. Dr. Arthur C. Bartner, 50 years as the director of the Trojan Marching Band. We're thrilled to have you on Trojans Live for the, for the, for the first time. And, you know, Dr. Bartner, I'm thinking 50 years you've been doing this. 2020 might be the strangest one for you. Uh, what is the plan? What, what, what is the band going to do? Uh, we've got you on the Zoom format. Can you, uh, can you perform halftime shows for us in the Zoom format? No, <laughs> it's been great to be. It's great to be here, and uh, this is this is not what I planned for my last season. But you know, we're Trojans, and we're fighting on, and we're rehearsing the band virtually, and they're showing up, and I don't know what they're doing, and it's not any fun because I can't see him, so I can't yell at him. So it's just not the same, but their attitude's been great. And, uh, you know, we're making some music videos. We're learning new music. We're having, we're having fun doing this. Dr. Bardner, I, I played for a coach there, Coach O, with a, with a classic voice. You, re, you remember that classic voice. But the first voice I remember hearing was your voice yelling at that band going into practice? I remember hearing that. What the, who was screaming at the band over there? Doctor, talk about your approach to how you coached up your your guys and girls over there uh, in the band. Well, I go back to the 1970s, and my mentor was Marv Goo. Ooh, classic. And Marv Goo, you know, bled Cardinal and Gold, and he befriended me early on and he took me to football practice and he was the defensive line coach. And he said, you watch me work these guys. And I'll tell you something, you know, here I'm 30 something. And I just took it all in. And then I started working the band like Marv worked defensive linemen. And, and, and I expect the best. And I expect every rehearsal is like a game. And I, you know, and here are these guys, I got 300 out of them. You know, and so I just turned into a screamer and a hollerer. And, and my philosophy is that if I yell at one trouble player, you know, I probably have the other 49's attention, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, th this is who I've turned into. And, these kids, they understand. They, they understand that I just want the best out of them and I want the best product. And we love our football team and we're there for our football team and so on. So that's who I am. Dr. Bartner, you are from Maplewood, New Jersey. I am from Short Hills, New Jersey. So for those that don't know, those towns are, are pretty close to each other in New Jersey. Only to say that people from New Jersey, once they come out to L.A., they never go back. So we, we have lots of pride, I'm sure, about, I'm sure, like, like me, have lots of pride about being from New Jersey, but also have managed to stay here in Los Angeles once you settled in. I'm just wondering, you know, back in the day, how did you get into this line of work? How, 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 did, how did you end up here? Well... I went to Columbia High School, which you know very well. We used to, we uh, used to play against Columbia High School, yep. yeah. Yeah, we beat your butts in baseball. <laughs> I was on a baseball team. I you guys it. were terrible. I believe uh, it. But anyway, uh, in high school, I, I was a trouble player and pretty good. You know, all state this, all state that. I was also a, a basketball player. And... I actually made honorable mention all state. So I was, I was pretty good. So I went to the University of Michigan and I thought I was going to be a basketball player. Wrong. <laughs> so uh, I stayed with the trumpet and uh, I went through the University of Michigan program. And when I graduated, I taught in Michigan for seven years and got my advanced degree and but I decided how could I can combine my musical talent with my athletic ability 
and the marching band was perfect because you know I I love the physicality of going out on that field and driving it hard and and then also you got to play your horn at the same time and I just thought it was a great fit for me and you're right I never returned to New Jersey I just kept going west nobody does nobody does <laughs> nobody does and I well, I'm sure up, you're still you don't let people criticize it you know you're still well you're still proud of it but not in a way that you're going back anytime soon well my son uh moved back there and he worked for my father-in-law and he fell in love and he married a jersey girl and he lives in florham park there you go <laughs> uh so and these are all suburbs and <laughs> they're all within five ten miles of each other so yeah. i get back to new jersey on a normal year and of course i head for broadway i love broadway and then when they do that show, the, the Jersey Boys, I, you know, I sing along with all the Jersey guys. <laughs> so once it's in your your soul, you, you, it never goes away. That's right. We're here with legend Dr. Art Bartner. Uh, Doc, tell us about, you know, I was wondering today, you know, Fleetwood Mac has been in the news for this TikTok video. And, and, there, and you yeah. know, you worked back in the day with Fleetwood Mac recording Tusk and a classic legendary song. Is there anything in the works to be maybe a little Fleetwood Mac action back in with the band? Well, yes, this goes back to 1979 and, and Mick was in, in Germany and he heard a brass band go by while he was trying to get some sleep. And he said, my next album, I want that big brass sound. So, he came back to LA and he, he, you know, I went out with my drum and instructor and my arranger and we sat down with Lindsey Buckingham. And Lindsey got out his guitar and he sang this tune, you know. And we, we looked at it and we said, hey, we'll add some drum parts, we'll add some horns. Boy, it's great. So then you go ahead a couple of months, we go into Dodger Stadium and we filmed this MT, MTV, you know, video and mixed there and they had already made a track. So we took our track and put it on top of their track and then I forgot about it. And now four or five months later, I'm driving to school, right? And I hear on the radio, here's Fleetwood Mac's latest chart featuring the Trojan marching band. <laughs> <laughs> And this tune, you know, went to the top of the charts and it's become like a USC fight song. Everybody loves this tune. Yeah. Well, we all say the, the best words to it as well, you know, so it's all, it's all about beating our rival. Dr. Bartner, you have a, a lifetime of stories. We would love to get them all. I think you have your own podcast going these days. So maybe people can listen to, uh, to, to check out. Yeah, check out your podcast and, and get all the stories. Uh, wish we had much more time with you, but uh, that is the legendary director of the Trojan Marching Band, albeit over Zoom these days, but 50 years as uh, the man on the ladder. Thank you, Dr. Bartner.